car. We're waiting to meet the, the lady who has the puppy. Mm -hmm. How are you waiting. feeling? I want to meet the pup. I'm excited. I'm like, which car is it? Which car is it? <laughs> this car stinks. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, oh, she's calling. She's calling. She's calling. Hello? Uh, we are facing the street uh, at the Chick fil A. Park. She pooped a little? Yeah, it's in there, so that's fine. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> You're such a tiny little thing. <gasps> oh, she's giving kisses. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. She is so adorable. <laughs> Here she is. There she uh, is. The little pup. Hello. Uh, oh my gosh, she's so dark. She is I so know. Cute. You can't even you can't even see where her eyes you are. Can't she's even so see cute. Her. She loves you. Look he at her. Me. Oh man. You have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> She's shivering. Yeah, let me put her harness on yeah. and I'll get her bundled up. Oh, look at <laughs> who she's kissing. <laughs> yep, we have a new addition to the family. Not only am I pregnant. We have a pup. We got a pup. A miniature schnauzer to be precise. Mm -hmm. And it's honestly a super awesome smart dog. Can you guys see her? Can you see her? She's like a little shadow. She's so dark. She's so dark. You, you can't even tell where her eyes are at. Or where she's Hi. looking. <gasps> Look over here. Wow. Hold on, let's see if I can get her. Oh, there she wow. goes. Wow. Look at the camera, baby girl. There she goes. Oh. There she goes. <laughs> okay. <gasps> she's like, I'm camera shy. Now Dad, you know I thought, that... <laughs> I thought I told you. So now you know she has a face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got a puppy. We got a puppy. <laughs> Please meet Amaya. Amaya Herrera. Amaya Night Rain. Yes, that's Herrera. what it means. Yeah. It was pretty difficult for us to come up with names, but we'll get into the backstory. So today we just wanted to introduce you formally to Amaya. I actually did a video of our first week over on Tiffy Quake. It was a vlog of how training and everything is going. It's been a really long time since I've had a puppy. And this is Mario's first ever puppy. Very first. Yeah, I mean, I, I consider Ruby a forever puppy, but... This is well, a true puppy. You never experienced the puppy stages. No, I never knew. When Ruby was a puppy, I was still living at home with my parents. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it's true. Your first time experiencing a puppy. Yeah. And it's amazing and it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work. When Tiff was like, no, you need to experience puppy life, I was like, oh, sure. Yeah, of course. Let's do it. Before having a baby. Yeah. Okay, this was the plan. Let's just get in. We're going to get into why we named her what we did, like her backstory, how we got her. Like, we're going to we're gonna get into it and cover all of that in this video. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to hang out with little Amaya here. So we've had Amaya for almost two weeks now and she's adjusting really well to the family. We have been looking, well, maybe you didn't know this, but we have been looking to add a dog to the family uh, after Ruby had passed. She passed away six months ago and we were, it was, we were toying with the idea, looking at shelters and keeping an eye out. We actually have been donating to uh, a Patreon for a shelter to like get info on the dogs that come in. And so we found that it was really hard to find a dog that was hypoallergenic. And that was like one of the biggest, biggest things that we wanted, uh, especially because our previous dog was hypoallergenic and we have two cats, which means a ton of hair already. They shed a lot. <laughs> yeah, they shed a lot. And I know if this, if we're going to get a puppy um, or a dog, I want the dog to sleep with us in the bed eventually. Can't do that if it's going to be shedding. No, can't do no it. Way. So we had brought up the idea of adopting a dog to our trainer and he was like, have you guys ever heard of a miniature schnauzer or a schnauzer you know, in general? He wanted the giant schnauzer. He, yeah, there's three types. There's a mini, the standard, and there's a giant. And we're like, no, never heard of them. They're like, they're amazing animals. Well, they're amazing family dogs, very intelligent, and uh, they're super smart. Top 20 uh, AKC, American Kennel Club. Right, that's what it stands for. Yeah. American <laughs> Kennel Club. Uh, so 
they're actually number 12. So we were like, oh, so he and turned us on. they're hypoallergenic. Yeah. So it met like all the criteria. We're like, dude, this is, this is crazy. Yeah. So our, we. Our trainer, he also brought up another good point, a valid point that I never thought of was when we told him we wanted to rescue, he was like, that's kind of like risky especially with a baby on the way and you guys have two cats like you don't know what you're getting as far as like temperament goes from from the, a shelter or from a rescue like you really don't know what you're getting yeah so that really put things into perspective for me and i was like you're right like we don't like it could be a good dog uh like up until we have the baby and then what yeah. so we really wanted to get something that was gonna be good for the family especially since it was kind of like on a time crunch you know yeah now well now that i'm pregnant so we started doing some research on our own about the breed and quickly find out that this was like the perfect breed for us and so tiff started looking into seeing how we could obtain one and yeah it was i just started looking one night i was because i never had looked at, at breeders and i was like i'm just gonna look yeah. So I literally just typed in like Schnauzer puppies, California or whatever. And then a bunch of different websites came up and I found this one called Find a Puppy, I think is what it was called. Or Puppy Find. Puppy Find. Yeah. I think it's Find a Puppy. I don't know. I don't know exactly. There was a couple of them. I put in the breed. I put in the location and we wanted a female and I was scrolling and she popped up. And at first we, we weren't considering getting a miniature Schnauzer. Yeah. We were looking at the standard ones. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe this is a... It's not a bad idea to get a miniature because Ruby was five pounds. Yeah. Schnauzers are... She's already 5.7 pounds. <laughs> she's two months... Yeah, she's two months old. So it's like, you know... She's three. Three. She's three. Oh, geez. She's three. three. Months. Jeez, it's already going quick. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it put a lot of things into perspective. We're like, okay, this is this is going to be the pup. Like, let's try and see if we can work this out. And it ha so happens that since it was during the holidays, the breeder was going to come down. And uh, she's going to visit her family, which was an hour away from us. So we're like, dude, this is perfect. And she's like, I'm going to yeah. bring the pup. She said she could bring the dog Yeah. To in the LA area. And I read that on the description. I was like, what? This is like perfect. Perfect. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> yeah. So the next day we literally got in a call with her. Yeah. And we had all these questions for her. Like, how are the temperaments of both of mommy the parents, and mom and dad? And she was like, they're both like the biggest babies ever. They love the family. They know how to handle kids. They know how to handle uh, elderly people. Not handle, but just like, you they know. I don't know how to act how to with act. them. Yeah. They're not going to handle an elderly person <laughs> or a baby. Come on, Red. Everything that we asked her, she had great answers for. Her. And honestly, it was our first time doing something like this. And she required a deposit. And I was literally like, God, I hope we don't get scammed. Like, I've never used this website before. Like, you know that yeah. there are scammers out there. So, yeah, we went with a breeder. We picked her up in the parking lot of a Chick-fil-A. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then we drove her home. And it was still pouring rain when we drove home. And that's where her name comes from. Amaya means night rain in Japanese. I'm pretty sure we're pronouncing it wrong. I did see a comment on my previous video. I think it's ama, like amaya, amaya. Amaya. M-A-H, ama. Amaya. Ma. Ama. Ma. Oh. Well, okay, we were exhausted. Yeah. Um, We were tired, but we were like, let's just stay up. We gotta play with her for a little bit, make sure she's comfortable. And this is the first dog that we've ever decided to crate train. So prior to us getting her, when we found out we were going to get her, we put the deposit down. We had started watching a ton of videos about puppies and training and like what we need to set up, how to introduce her to the cats, all of it. We were like doing so much homework. And so the night that we got her, we had a little playpen for her and she was just getting comfortable to the house and the cats were super curious about her. We kept them distant. Mm -hmm. They were probably like, oh, not again. No <laughs> way. God damn, God damn. But around like 12 o'clock, we were like, okay, we should probably go to bed. Yeah. And we, we put her in the crate and she 
started crying and howling and I felt so bad. I wanted to like just pick her up and cuddle with her all night, but she wasn't potty trained. Yeah, I came into the so. room because Tiff had already put her in a crate and then I came into the room and Tiff was laying down like kind of like, like curled, up. curled up and she was super sad while the dog was, well, Amaya was howling and then I was like, we can't, we, we can't let her out. We just have to, we literally, literally need to tough it out right now because if we let her out, she's going to be like, there it is. I just have to cry and then they'll let me out yeah. and then I get to sleep on their bed and then accidents happen. You know, on our bed. We can't, we can't let accidents happen on our bed, especially. Took her down to go potty like every two hours. We have both felt super delirious and the we just day. felt out of it. I felt like I was extremely hungover, but it was just the lack of sleep, you know? We yeah. really didn't get that much sleep. But I, honestly, like I was just excited to play with her the next day yeah. and to teach her and start training and working with her. The following night, so night number two, she actually slept for like, three three hours yeah. and we're like oh my goodness she slept and she didn't cry she just tapped on the door when she wanted to be let out to go to the restroom and just got up every th two or three hours to let her down i'm like dude this dog is he did a, a complete 180 she is yeah. so good right now and she's been like that ever since she's been really really good yeah she slept i think for like five hours last night crazy but yeah. we there was a point the first the first like week we were like waking up go, taking her out we're training her to go outside um to potty which is new for us too because ruby used to go on a pad but then yeah. she's a bigger dog so we think she could go outside we went to puppy kindergarten for the first time that was we're awesome. trying to socialize her she's 12 weeks now but the puppy kindergarten i think is going to be super helpful for her because that's something we didn't do with Ruby was socialize her. But we're it's, trying to do everything right and we feel like, we feel like parents are ready. We do. Yeah, I know it's gonna make a big difference with her being in puppy training because from all the different videos, from all the different videos we've been watching, they're like, you have to socialize a dog very early on and often. And with a lot of people, with a lot of dogs, that way they could know how to act around other people and other dogs too and we never really did that with ruby so no but we learned a lot we're learning we learned a lot from ruby but i think yeah like we're now especially because i'm due in like five-ish months we really want to get her house trained mm -hmm. and we're obviously still going to be training her once the baby's here too but just trying to take advantage of the time that we have without a child a baby not even a child a baby yeah i mean we're this is already our already baby, baby. <laughs> this is our baby right now she wants to get down i feel like we're, we're, we're trying to film this video i know i feel like she's actually getting us prepared for the baby because now that i'm waking up in the middle of the night like at this point, I just told Tiff, you know what? Just sleep through the night. I'll wake up and take her down. I don't because have Because I got her. pregnancy privilege. Yeah, she has pregnancy privilege. So, <laughs> you know, she doesn't have to worry about I that. I need my sleep. Yeah, I want to make sure she's good in the sleep I department. I still wake up, though. Yeah. Wake up early, make her breakfast. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's good. It's been so fun having her, though. It has. It's and it's so been fun. nice to see how the cats are starting to come around, too. They're yeah. letting her sniff them and you could tell like they do want to play with her but she doesn't really know how to play with cats so i think it's going to take some time but they're coexisting which is good they're curious about each other she's funny like there's some things that she does already that are like a little personality yeah she's a the character. way that she yawns in the morning oh look at us we're already obsessed with this child oh, man. she wants to get down she's i should like, probably end this video she's like put me yeah. down you're babing me too much it was great meeting you guys <laughs> I hope you guys like me. I'm a little sweetie pie. <laughs> She's already grown so much, but I'm sure you guys are going to be able to see a lot more of her and yeah. her little journey of living with us and us training her and then meeting the baby once baby comes. Yeah. She's going to, she's going to. This is seriously like living the dream right now because I've always wanted a, a dog to grow up with, with a baby. And I didn't think it was gonna happen because I was like crunch time right now, like yeah. it's too late. Yeah. And so when we got her, like, I it was think so exciting. Yeah, I honestly felt like she was meant for us. I think so too. Like the way like how she sweet she too. is, and 
She's so sweet with everybody else too. Everybody she's met, she doesn't bark at people and she lets everybody pick her up and she wants to just, she wants to, she wants to lick you. She wants you to pick her up so she can lick you, <laughs> which is crazy to me because before with Ruby, I was like, oh no, no, yeah. no, you're going to bite, you're going to bite. It's different. Yeah, she's so like, she's, I feel like she's an int- uh, extrovert. She's like her daddy. Yeah, a little extrovert. <laughs> All right. Well, we hope you guys like the video and love Amaya. Yeah. And um, if you guys want to see more videos of her, I'm doing, she's in my vlogs over on Tiffy Quake. And I think we need to make an Instagram account for her. We need to yeah. make one. We need to, we'll figure out a name. So yeah. we'll let you guys know when that happens. We weren't prepared. No, we weren't. I'm like, I don't know what the name is going to be. But if you guys have any ideas, let us know in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. See you later, everybody. Okay, I think you have a really good idea of how this video is going to go, so I can let I mean, you lead. I don't know. I'm just winging it. Winging it. Like I'm winging this puppy and this baby inside of me. Winging it. We're all winging it in life, aren't we? We are. Bunch of wingers. <laughs> We're all just a bunch of wingers. <laughs>